I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years, but no one stumped me more than the princess. I spend all my parents' money and all of my own. I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next four weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. She reminds me of like the six-year-olds that don't get their candy. I have my own money, I'm allowed to shop. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver, and I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. For such a beautiful person, there's so much ugly. No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Princess Sarah. My name is Sarah. I'm a third year university student. This 21 year old spends every dollar she has. My paychecks are usually between $300 to $500 over two weeks. So it's $107.34. $387.12. $300. Perfect. Sarah wants to have a career as a fashion writer. In five years, I see myself living in a big city and being a writer for some sort of fashion magazine. But the research has been hard on her designer wallet. Louis Vuitton purses, $400 watch, $200, $300 shoes. She buys all these shoes. I think I've seen her wear two of them. I have a closet full of clothes. I still have things with price tags on them. She buys it on the impulse. Guys, I want brushes. Actually, I want a brush set. She just throws around her money like no other person I've ever seen. And since you're spending over $300, you get a free tote bag. Oh, yay. <laughs> She's sorry. How much was that? Where do you get all this money? Oh, yeah, your parents. Well, there you go. Just 20 bucks. Thank you. He's like a drive-in teller. And when she doesn't ask her parents for money, she just takes it. So I come home, I look at one of my credit cards, and there's $170 worth of fuel on there. She doesn't lie. Oh, yeah, took your card. I need gas. But you're also getting $20 every third day for me for gas. She will say that she's buying one thing. I'll lie, and I'll say it's for cable or a bill I have at home. And then she'll give us a call and say, do you guys want to go to the mall? I've got my mom's credit card in my pocket. She ended up doing a whole shopping spree. Oh my god, guys, blush. Look at this color. OK, I'm getting both of them. OK, I have to get, like, at least three of these. Oh, they have body scrub to go with it. Your total is $296.63. You're deluded. And her mom had no idea. That's stealing. Really, I think, no? It's stealing. While she's away at school, she still spends a lot of time at home. And she has no problem accepting the perks that come with it. My mom will pre-make me meals, wrap them all up, and put them in containers, and then buy me food on top of that to take home with me. This way, when I'm at school, all I have to do is warm up a meal, or my roommates will cook for me. No wonder her roommates aren't exactly enjoying her company. Sarah doesn't really pull her weight around the apartment very well. She acts like everyone around her is her royal servant. God bless the man that marries you. She embodies all of the things that make a princess what it is. Look how cute these are. Except it's not a really nice fairy tale princess. Can you get it for me? I can't read. No. Why? Because I want it. You're such a It's like an angry, crabby, evil stepsister princess. Sorry, Sarah. With her roommates ready to kick her out, it's now or never for Sarah to make a drastic change. She needs to get a wake-up call. She's out of control. Like, wake up? Sounds like a good plan to me. Hey, Sarah, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're going to learn to pay your own way. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> now it's time for Sarah to see what her friends and family really think. Let's see your brother. My brother, I look up to him a lot, and I find um, throughout my life, he's probably the one person I try to impress the most. That makes me feel good that she admires me. <laughs> I can't say that I really admire her at all because I haven't really seen her do anything special to make me admire her. Hearing it is just makes me realize that it's not in my head and he does feel that way. So yeah, it hurt. You're totally not paying attention to the money right now, right? I never think about it. <laughs> How do you get away with that? My parents let me get away with it. Really? So. She makes us feel guilty, and she won't stop until we, we give her what, what, she's, what she's asking for. And sometimes we do turn her down, and then she pouts and doesn't talk to us for a few days. Or... Sarah has an ability to go stone cold. No feeling about what she has to do. She does no remorse, no I'm sorry. You know what, I can see her probably getting to a point where she won't have many friends.
You have been given every opportunity mm -hmm. by your parents. What you choose to do is you choose to take your mother's credit card and then say to your friends, I've got my mom's credit card, let's go buy something. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. How are you in terms of your roommates? They've never complained. Okay. She needs to learn how to respect people and like appreciate them. You can't just use people. And that's what she is, she's a user. For such a beautiful person, there's so much ugly. What do you think when you hear Kayla say the things she's saying? It kind of hurts, <laughs> but I don't know. I never think about the situation I'm in. Kayla and I have considered not living with her. I don't think that I could live with someone who is so high maintenance and who is so posh and sometimes snobby. Are you happy with what you are seeing and how you're being perceived? Or do you want it to be different in the future? Yeah, I do. You're sure? Positive. Then we're going to stand and look at your numbers because there's a lot to be seen in the numbers. I have your mom and your dad here because I think it's really important that we all get on the same page. Your parents pay for a lot of your day-to-day -day expenses, so this is where your money has pretty well been going. You're saving nothing. About $100 is going to needs. You managed to rack up $3,000 worth of debt. About $100 in debt repayment. And you're spending $771 on your wants. Why do you think it's okay to spend eight times on your indulgences than you do on your needs? I don't realize it. <laughs> yeah, because nobody's keeping track. No. If they were paying attention, Sarah's parents would realize that not only are they writing her a monthly check to cover her living expenses, but they're also paying cash for everything from makeup to haircuts, underwear, dresses, and coats, and everything else. Your parents are spending almost $35,000 a year to keep you in luxury. Are you insane? Here's the long and the short of it, okay? Okay. You're earning $20,280 a year gross you would have to earn $65,000 a year to spend what you're spending right now. If you were paying your own way and using credit to fill the gap, oh. you'd be going into debt to the tune of $30,000 a year. Wow. I think she was really surprised. She didn't realize how much money she was really spending. I think she was shocked at how much money she spends. I need your commitment that you will keep your hands out of your pocket and let her start being the adult that she is. Yes, oh, yeah, definitely. I, I can say no to her. You can, can you? <laughs> we'll see. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to my satisfaction. I'll give you up to $5,000, which will not only pay off your debt, but pay a chunk towards school next year. You don't do the challenges. You don't get the money. You don't have the right attitude. You don't get the money. There's no bitching. There's no whining. OK, this is about taking control of your money in your life. We're gonna get you standing on your own two feet. We're gonna show you that being beautiful doesn't have to cost a fortune. And we're gonna teach you how to pull your weight around the house so that you are somebody people want to actually live with. Coming up, you have so much stuff, <laughs> you have forgotten what you have. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Sarah spends her money faster than she makes it. I spend all my parents' money and all of my own. And she has no problem taking her parents' credit cards on shopping sprees. Now they've decided enough is enough. So my husband and I are prepared to cut her off now. I, I don't have a problem cutting her off. Over the next four weeks, I'll give Sarah a series of challenges to do. And if she completes them all successfully, I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. Now it's time for her to take the first step. Give me your debit cards. Because your credit cards are gone, right? I used a pair of scissors, and I cut it up, threw it in the garbage, and that was it. Now the debit cards are gone as well. Your life is about to change dramatically. Your parents have agreed to give you a specific amount of money every single month, $400. $400 is a fraction of what her parents usually hand over every month. And now I've got another surprise for her. Open your eyes. Moving supplies. <laughs> you know why? Why? You have two homes right now. Yeah. It's like you're halfway between adulthood and childhood. You are moving every single thing you own out of your parents' house and into your house near school. I'm terrified. That was probably the toughest. That'll probably be one that'll be hard for me. I'm overjoyed. Okay, so here are your moving supplies. Okay. The Get Real Challenge is designed to snap a princess into reality. Sarah wants to be treated like a grown-up. 
so she can act like one by moving out of her childhood home. I'm used to my big comfy house and it's always clean and there's always food in the fridge. And knowing that I have to wake up and clean and go to the grocery store, cook my own meals. It's a lot to take on when it's all at once, I think. This is it. This is my childhood bedroom. I've lived here forever and I'm leaving. And as much as I've been not living at home for a while while I'm at school, my room's never been empty, so I've never felt like I actually left. And it's a scary thought knowing that I'm getting older and I have to learn to stand on my own two feet. And I never really thought about it. Well, she's definitely, definitely been thinking about how she has less money. Kind of panicked. Okay, watch how you don't rip it, Sarah, and slide it in. Oh, okay. All done, now it's time to leave. I hope my brother can see that through this, I'm going to become more independent. Well, you don't need a hand? You sure you got help? No, I'll be fine. All right. I hope that he's proud of me in the end. No wonder she didn't need her brother's help. She's got roommates. I did not realize how much stuff you had. Careful. Well, <laughs> you gave me the heavy one. Ugh. Like that? You want it? Having to unpack everything and knowing that I'm on my own and I have to do all this by myself. My parents aren't here to help me. And on top of unpacking, I have to cook dinner. I have to get ready for work tomorrow and there's just a lot to do in one night. Oh my gosh, does this ever end? After working on her budget, Sarah realized the $400 from her parents would only cover the bare necessities. So she got a job. I work very long hours. I work 10 to 12 hours some days, and I'm on my feet all day. She's putting in a lot of time at work to try to pay her dad off on her own. Um, she doesn't want any help. She spent time helping her father out in his shop. You gotta do the chrome too, eh? I know, Daddy. And cooked brunch for the family. You know she's trying to knock us off, eh? She wants our money. Can't do something nice for you? <laughs> Not without an angle. But has Sarah actually changed? Time to check in and I've asked her roommates to tag along. You moved all your stuff into your room. Is there anywhere for you? When I was moving, I realized I had a, a lot of things I forgot I had had. Yeah. You have so much stuff, <laughs> you have forgotten what you have. And that was a problem. I would go shopping because I feel like I didn't have what I needed. So I got rid of all the stuff I didn't need anymore. Okay. And I kept all the stuff that I forgot I had. And now you have plenty. Yes. Right? You have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Do you want to hear what your next challenge is? Oh. Sure. You've been taking advantage of these guys for a while. This is the week we even the score. <gasps> you are going to be Cinderella. Yay! Yay! In charge of doing everything for the next week. You're at their beck and call. Have fun. Coming up. Viv, didn't the floors need to be swept and mopped? Vivlin, your hair is all over the floor. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Sarah drives her roommates crazy with her over-the-top spending. So it's 107.34. $296.387.12. So no, I don't even have fun shopping with her anymore. It's like it's sick. And she doesn't lift a finger around the house. Whenever we ask her to do something, she'll maybe think about doing it, and then she'll say, oh, hang on a sec, I gotta do my hair first. We'll hear the blow dryer turn on, and then we won't see her until we're already finished cleaning the house. Her roommates are at their wit's end. For such a beautiful person, there's so much ugly. Kayla and I have considered not living with her. So for her next challenge, this princess will be Cinderella to her roommates for an entire week. Sarah, you're in trouble. <laughs> Can you give me a drink? And when you're putting the Tupperware away, wait, like make sure you put it in nicely. Don't just throw it in. When you're done with those, can you come clean this table here too? Actually, you missed a lot. Can we go over that again with a different cloth? Viv, didn't the floors need to be swept and mopped? Yeah. Vivlin, your hair is all over the floor. I guess you just have to pick it up. <laughs> I was really like in shock. I was like, I came down the stairs. She's on her knees, literally scrubbing the fridge. And I was just like, Sarah, is that you? And she's like, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be a better roommate. I think she will keep it up, but we'll definitely have to like set her back in place sometimes because you know, for 21 years, being selfish was all she really knew. Because when you do it all by yourself, there's a lot more work to do. 
we can just do it together as a team next time. That wasn't the only mess Sarah cleaned up this week. Because she's working full-time during the summer, she came up with a plan to get her debt paid off in a few months. I don't even know anymore what I bought with those credit cards. It was so long ago. I feel like I really wasted my money. I've been in debt for so long that I, I forget what it's like to not be in debt. <laughs> but it would be nice, and it would be one less thing not to stress about. Like one of those things that just sticks in the back of your mind all the time. So it would be nice to clear my head of that. So you're working more now. Mm -hmm. Why are you working more? It's nice to have the extra cash. Isn't it though? <laughs> yeah. Are you shopping at all? No. So is this at all sustainable? I mean, it's all very well and good that when you're with me, you haul right back and you don't do any shopping, but are you going to be able to sustain this? I think so. I mean, I'll shop if I need things, okay. but I don't feel like I need things anymore. So you're ready to hear what I want you to do next? Yes. Okay. So you know how you're spending thousands and thousands and thousands on beauty? Mm -hmm. And you can't do that anymore because you're a poor student. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to write about it. The title of your blog is Student Beauty, Fun and Free. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a professional writer assess your blog. Okay. <laughs> as if you had written it for a fashion magazine. Okay. So make sure it's the standards there. I'm actually really excited to write the article and to have someone look at it. It's a great opportunity for me. The Set Goals Challenge is all about getting Princess to turn her dream into a reality. Sarah wants to be a fashion writer, but all she's done so far is a lot of expensive research. So I got a top fashion blogger to look over her work. If you want to be a fashion journalist, you should really be hungry. It's difficult to make a living. Here, try both of them on. Sarah's assignment. Give her roommates a full makeover without spending a penny and then write about it. Okay, Viv, you're wearing this. <gasps> I love this. Getting to go through my clothes and actually be the person deciding what my friends wear. The black, definitely the black, and how they do their makeup and how they do their hair. I'm really happy that Sarah did our hair because Same. it looks great. It looks yeah, like salon. Yeah, I didn't even have to pay for it. Exactly. I felt really in control. If I had to give tips right now, one of them would definitely be don't underestimate what you have in your closet. Even the simple things like a white t-shirt, you can easily dress it up with a belt or um, add a bigger necklace or bigger jewelry. When it comes to writing that article, I feel now a lot more relaxed about it. But what did Nelia think? The things that I really liked about her work uh, was that she put in some humor into, into her writing, which made it a lot more accessible and a fun read, really. But as an aspiring writer, she certainly should pay a lot more attention to the spelling and grammar. I found that there were a lot of mistakes that could have been easily avoided via spell check. It's not very professional. I would uh, give the work back to her and tell her to redo it. Coming up, my final verdict. I also edited your piece. You should surprise me. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. When I first met Princess Sarah, her roommates were ready to kick her to the curb. I don't think that I could live with someone who is so posh and sometimes snobby. And her family didn't think much of her either. I haven't really seen her do anything special to make me admire her. You know what, I can see her probably getting to a point where she won't have many friends. So I kicked her butt into high gear. She moved out and showed her parents some appreciation. I transformed her into Cinderella to teach her a lesson when it came to living with roommates. And it seemed to work. I'm confident that we won't have to kick her out. We were going to. But in her final challenge, aspiring writer Sarah got a bad review from our fashion blogger. It's not very professional. I would uh, give the work back to her and tell her to redo it. Before I deliver my final verdict, I wanted a last word with Sarah's parents. So have you seen a change in Sarah? Oh yeah. She hasn't asked us for a penny. It's been great. And she's paid you back? She, yes. Yep. That's novel. It's novel. It's a first. <laughs> she surprised me. Um, it's not a big change. She, she really applied herself and, did, and I think she did well. Sarah, my darling, come in. Yeah, I do find I got a little more money in my pocket these days. She appreciates us more. The fashion show was fun. It was, yeah, fun, it was so it? much fun. What did you learn from that experience? I used to think if I had a special event, I need to go buy a new dress. Right. When I don't, because even simple things, I can glamour them up so easily. So you did this writing exercise. I also. <laughs> 
edited your piece. One of the things you have to learn as a professional writer is not to overwrite. If I have a criticism of your piece, it's that you use too many words to say one thing. This is what I would have said to you as an editor, and so just take it in the vein it's intended, just as positive and constructive criticism. Yep. Okay, <laughs> good. What has changed about how you feel about what's your parents' money and what's your money now? I like having my own money. Like, I appreciate it more, I find. Right. And I feel better when I spend my own money compared to when I spend theirs because I know I've worked for the things I'm purchasing. And, right. Um, I feel like it's well-earned rather than just taking it or asking for it. In the long run, like, it's made me a lot happier. Good. And I'm a lot happier to be who I am and, like, proud. And I enjoy going to work and going home to my house and helping out my friends. You stay on track and you have a great future ahead of you. You now have the tools. You know how to make a budget. <laughs> you know not to go back into debt. Don't spend money you don't make. <laughs> track your money. Set limits on what you're spending. And you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think you did really well. I am very pleased with how you did. I am so pleased I'm giving you all the money. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. I think I'll always be a princess. I know in my head I'm doing it for myself now. You know, like uh, there's no one watching me or testing me on anything. I have to purposely just do it for myself. That's it. I can tell, I can tell she loves to go. Shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.